So Lysel started in 2004 and when it started off it was the first cord blood bank in the country. It was started with a view to bringing a concept of cord blood banking in India. Cord blood banking had been around for many years before that but in India this concept was not available and the founders at, at that time uh, had decided that India needed something like this because it's the country that contributes to the largest number of births in the world and if you don't have access to a service like this you know which can be used for treatment of various medical conditions at various points in life you know you will not be able to uh, you know treat various debilitating conditions so basis that the concept of cord blood banking was brought in India in 2004 with LifeCell and since then the company has evolved a lot. So besides being the first and the largest cord blood bank in the country, we are now also present in various other allied fields like diagnostics. In diagnostics also, our focus is primarily in the mother and the child segment. So we offer tests in the prenatal and in the newborn spaces. And very recently, we are also planning to enter into the space of therapeutics. So if you ask me what we are trying to build is an organization on three big platforms, cells, genes and tissues. So uh, I have uh, since my childhood been associated with healthcare. Um, my grandfather was a medical doctor. Uh, I had a lot of doctors in the family. Uh, I was personally attracted towards healthcare, but specifically didn't want to get into medicine as a field or, or uh, choose that as a profession so i decided to take on uh, uh, at that time biotechnology as a subject matter was not available so i studied um, biochemistry then i moved on to doing my masters in biotechnology spent some time in the lab and research and then that's when i felt that you know the real calling for me is healthcare but not in the lab maybe outside the lab so that's when i took out took up a lot of commercialization uh, and business development positions in India and abroad and lifestyle happened to me in uh, actually it happened much earlier than I joined when I met uh, the founders in 2008 and 9 in a very different setting and um, you know both of us clicked quite well the managing director and the founder of the company Mr. Mayur and myself and uh, in 2011 it so happened that we connected again and I joined Lifestyle and, and that's when uh, Lifestyle was at a position where it was looking to expand its portfolio, it was looking to take the next step in its growth and I happened to enter the organization I would say at uh, the right time for me and the organization because since then we've been doing a lot of new things. We started diagnostics, we expanded the cord blood business, uh, so a lot of interesting things have been happening. So. I would say Lifecell for me has been an extension of what my passion is, uh, which is uh, healthcare and you know giving service to people. So we launched Right Start last year in October. Um, it was uh, basically a very a strong upgrade to a program that we had launched in 2012, which is our newborn screening program. We started newborn screening as a, a separate entity under the brand name Baby Shield in uh, 2012. And at that time, newborn screening did not have a lot of um, acknowledgement and presence in India. Again, despite being one of the, the most common tests being done in countries like US and a lot of developed countries. Again, India contributing to the highest number of births in the world, of course, needed a service and a test like this available for newborns because a lot of disorders that uh, infants and children are born with are not immediately diagnosed at birth. There are a lot of hidden conditions that they are called congenital disorders or inborn errors of metabolism, whatever you may call them. Um, and they have a very uh, debilitating effect on the health of the child if they are not diagnosed early. So we started this program in 2011 and since then uh, in India and uh, in the private as well as the government sector there's been a lot of increase in awareness about newborn screening. So over the years we realized that this program needs to be further modified to suit the needs of India and that's when we brought in the genetic aspect to this where we say that you know you don't only screen your babies um, for these disorders but in case there is a screened positive result you also provide a genetic reflex test which means you give the absolute diagnosis to that child right at birth to help the doctors treat and manage the condition better. 
So that has been, um, I would say, a big revolution in the way this program will be looked upon in this country and probably across the world now. And we are happy to be pioneers in that space. Oh, well, if you ask from a business perspective, it's a good thing to be a part of uh, a country that contributes to the maximum number of births. But there's also a limitation because if you look at the infrastructure available in the country, especially in the public spaces, I would say my personal contribution uh, to this organization would be in bringing my experience uh, of India and, and countries abroad in seeing how healthcare is being tackled. I think I've been able to contribute in building programs uh, such as the diagnostics program itself to ensure that we not only uh, do it for the commercial purposes but we also do it um, for the intention that any any healthcare service would be provided for which is to bring a, a radical change in the way uh, you know healthcare services are provided and if I look at newborn screening or a lot of prenatal testing that we brought in, we brought in new technology into India. We have brought in uh, new ways in which testing should be done. And I think this, this concept of technical innovation in whatever we do, even cord blood banking for that matter. Today, we follow a model called as community banking, which is not being adopted by most of the players in the country and abroad and you know this is something which we foresee as probably the next approach to cord blood banking so i would say my contribution to the organization and this organization's contribution to the country is going to be always in bringing the right healthcare innovations I think if you look at and pick up a newspaper every single day, you see there's some, some new research, uh, you know, that's there in the space of um, stem cells and, you know, the new therapies that are coming in, new disorders that can be treated. So uh, we try to keep ourselves very open. Uh, we expose ourselves to international markets. Uh, you know, we have a lot of intelligence sources with us, people who work for us, uh, you know, our R&D teams are very strong. We have scientists with global experiences that bring that kind of uh, innovation, uh, experience and knowledge with them. We participate in conferences across the world to see what's happening, you know, in the, in the developed countries to see what can be adapt and what do we contribute to them. So we, we keep ourselves, so while we are a, an organization that caters to India, our horizons are very global because we want to bring in the best uh, medical standards and healthcare standards in the country that are available anywhere in the world. So we ensure that we are up to date. Uh, we try to follow a very um, a flat organization structure in the company where nobody is inaccessible and you know people don't have to think twice before they want to reach out to the leadership team in the organization and I think that's something how the founders have built this organization and I think everybody imbibes that culture. So I would say uh, it's a very open organization, feedback is welcome at all times. And I would say that uh, I don't consider, uh, so while there is uh, a hierarchy in the organization, there's not really a hierarchy. Anybody has the right to open the door of this office and come in and give whatever feedback they feel will help the organization further. So uh, I would say the relationship is very open, it's friendly. And I think that's something which has always helped us also build this organization better because nobody thinks twice before coming up and telling us that we could do things different and better. If asked, uh, would I work for myself and uh, my answer would be to an extent yes uh, and I would say that because uh, over the years of working with various kinds of managers in India and abroad I have uh, had the opportunity to work with uh, very good bosses and some difficult bosses as well and from them I have learned what should or should not be done while handling a team or by or while working um, as a manager handling a team of now we have more than 1000 people in this organization so I try to benchmark myself against that and ensure that I strive to do better every day. The, the percentage of population that is being targeted with the kind of services that we provide is very, very small. Also because most of the services that we provide for are out-of-pocket uh, tests and out-of-pocket services. So all the people who are dependent on the government's uh, support or the public healthcare machinery for their healthcare services do not have access to them. Um, the government 
uh, has the opportunity to contribute and if I again uh, take the example of few of the diagnostic tests uh, that we offer we are seeing the government uh, state governments starting certain pilot programs starting certain initiatives at a smaller scale to include the local populations get them tested get certain um, you know healthcare services provided to them so the opportunity is there um, and I think the biggest opportunity lies today in public-private partnership uh, where the government is becoming more open to working with private organizations in seeing how the best of both the worlds can be put together in providing the best healthcare solutions in India by the size of the population that we cater to. You know, providing healthcare services to every individual with the same quality and the same penetration is not going to be an easy task. It has to be distributed. Uh, the government alone can probably not take up all of the burden itself. So if it combines its forces with private organizations that have global or presence in India, I mean, if you look at LifeCell itself, we have presence in over 200 cities in the country. So, so that gives us the opportunity to probably reach to places and do certain things which we can probably do more, more productively and more efficiently than the government may. If you are an industry leader, you have to ensure that you sustain that leadership position. Um, and one of the ways we ensure that LifeCell as an organization is able to sustain its leadership position is by ensuring that we never slow down in, in our quest for innovating. Um, Technical innovation, uh, disruptive processes, you know, finding new ways to reach out to more customers, more expecting parents has always been the top agenda for our organization. So whether it's, uh, you know, combining tests to our existing portfolio, whether it's, you know, bringing in new technologies which could offer a lower cost solution or, uh, you know, changing the business model in a way that would be more inclusive in nature. So we ensure that we, uh, we never are lazy. Uh, we never try to, you know, slow down the pace at which we move. Um, so yeah, so I would say that there is a performance pressure but we try to use it positively to make the business more robust every day. Uh, one of my biggest contributions that I can say to the organization has been the building up of, the, of our diagnostics platform. Because when I joined LifeCell, it was primarily known as um, a core blood banking uh, organization which today also is, is the core business of the company. But diagnostics is what brings the highest growth today uh, to the organization in terms of our monthly and yearly growths. Um, I think what I've been able to bring in is the thought process that, uh, you know, because through, through our corporate blood banking business, we had the largest access to uh, expecting parents. We were interacting with gynecologists. Um, so you know, having a captive audience available with us and to uh, ensure that we are able to reach out to them to provide additional services such as diagnostics. I think that was a very big move and a change in the company and also in the way the organization was being looked at. So uh, I think that was one very big shift in the organization's ethos and the way it was viewed that happened and it happened around the time that, uh, that I entered the organization. So I would say that uh, uh, it was almost like having a startup within the organization. Uh, I remember when we started uh, our diagnostics division, we were just a couple of people with a few hundred samples that we used to pick up every month across the country. And since then till now, uh, Besides being the largest cord blood bank in the country, we can also say that we are the largest newborn screening provider in the country uh, from a private perspective. And um, so, yeah, I think um, I would say that my role was largely to help, you know, build that startup within the organization and ensure that that diagnostics, which was a very small baby, uh, you know, grows out to be a mature and it's still maturing. You know, there's so much innovation happening every day. Uh, you know, but it's taken a very strong position within the organization structure and is, is a very, very high growth business for us today. We are looking at um, continuing our journey towards innovation. Um, while doing that, we expect to have some expansion in our geographical presence as well. So if I look at from a, a, a diagnostics perspective, we are expecting to set up units outside of our core central laboratory, which is Chennai, because our business has expanded and now we need to see how we can provide our services cheaper, better and faster. So to do that, uh, we, we probably need to be more closer to our patients. We need to be more closer to our doctors. Um, 
we are looking at as i said you know building stronger on the three platforms that we believe are the the three fundamentals of the company which is cells genes and tissues so a lot of technical innovation from the cord blood banking business we made one innovation in the business model now we expect to bring in innovation in the way uh, you know the cells are expanded in which the stem cells are processed um, and also look at newer avenues uh, which are related to the mother and child segment because that's going to be like our core area so what more we can do uh, for the segment of mother and child is is what's going to remain our sustained focus Uh, we do participate in in initiatives uh, for the community and whatever we can do especially from the healthcare side of things that are that you know is the core service of the organization uh, we participate in it as much as we can so even some of our associations with the government hospitals we try to see if we can offer you know we can do camps or you know run certain programs for the uh, you know people who cannot afford to get such tests and because some of these tests are very very expensive so we try to use our csr initiatives towards that as well